Hey everybody, Seth's here, and today we're going to be unboxing the EMU XM7 Bookshelf Speakers by Creative. Now inside the box is two lovely pieces of hard foam for shipping. Kept it nice and safe. And then from there, we got our two bookshelf speakers. Right here. Other things come in the box. We have our pair of speaker cables. We get two of them. Warranty information and a handy user manual to position that lets, helps you position the speakers as well as hook them up to the X7. The speakers themselves are 60 watts. They are rated at six ohms of impedance. Uh, so if you do have the X7, do set that to eight ohms. They each have removable black grills, soft. This is a nice foam. You have a five inch woofer and a one inch silk dome tweeter. This is, you can get it in two styles. This is the wood grain finish with gray cabinet. And there's also an all black finish as well. On the back, we have our port and our connectors that are gold plated. And this is a passive speaker. Now the difference between a passive and active speaker is this. Passive speakers need to be powered by a device, be it the X7, your AV receiver, or anything else that has passive speaker inputs. Active speakers usually have their own integrated amplifier, an on-off switch with, and an independent volume knob, and you connect it via a line level uh, input-output port. And it can usually be one or split into both channels left and right. Now these are rather large speakers, coming in at 11.7 inches tall, 6.85 inches wide, and 9.14 inches deep. So make sure when you're placing them that you have plenty of room on your desk. Of note, speaking of desk placement, there is no holes or any kind of you know, key placement to put these on stands. Uh, there are stands where you can kind of just rest the speakers. So when investigating you know, stands or placement, if you're going to use this for an entertainment system, that's the kind of stand you're going to want. Because speakers have many moving parts, they can benefit from a breaking in period. How do you do this? Play them. Choose music with a wide dynamic range, a lot of highs, a lot of lows, and play it at a louder than normal volume. It takes anywhere from eight to 50 hours to break them in, so be patient. Also, if you hook this up, your speakers up to a receiver, you can use the receiver's test tone as well to break them in. The benefits of breaking in your speakers vary from a little bit to a whole lot, so you might not notice a, a drastic change. For more information on breaking in your speakers, see the links in the description below. Well, that's it for me. Thanks for watching the unboxing of Creative's EMU XM7 bookshelf speakers. Like if you liked the video, dislike if you didn't. Subscribe and comment down below. For more information, check out the links in the description. I'm Seth, and I'll see you next time in the middle of nowhere.